My name is Glenn Fink, and I'm a scientist and the author of a new book, The Gospel, God's Great Undoing. This book is about God creating the universe and how we messed it up. In fact, uh, it talks about how the universe was started, how God created the universe, and what went wrong with the universe, why there's so much pain and problems in the universe, what God did to fix the wrong at great cost to himself, and what the next step is for us as humanity 2.0. Now, you might ask yourself, how a scientist can write a book about the gospel? Can I believe all those quaint fairy tales about the creation and things like that? Well, the answer is yes, actually I can, because here's the deal. The Bible and science are not at odds. The Bible is a source of data. It's not a science book. It's a narrative. It's a story about the creation of the universe, about the God who dwells beyond the universe, about what God's purpose is in the universe. And he has a grand story that he's telling in the Bible. And I want to tell part of that story here. Science, on the other hand, is a tool. Science is a shovel. Science is something we use to dig for truth. We take science to learn about the world around us. And science doesn't take the data and say, this is good data, this is bad data. Science takes all the data into consideration. We, as scientists, we oftentimes will consider the quality of our data, but we don't question that the data has the right to exist. We don't say, well, this is not this is not data and that is data. It's all data, whether we like it or not. So the problem these days, a lot of people say things like, follow the science, follow the science. And the science has become this almost like, well, it is actually, a competing religion. And I know some people listening to this won't believe that it's a religion, but when you hear follow the science these days, what you're actually hearing is people say, shut up and just believe what we tell you to believe. Now that's dogma, that's not science. And as a scientist, I find that highly offensive to have people say, follow the science, and by that mean, please don't think, because we've already solved this problem for you. That's not science. In fact, that is a narrative, it's a dogma, and it's a contrary dogma to the dogma that's in the Holy Scriptures. So, if you're gonna choose dogma, why not choose one that was written by someone who claims to have been here at the founding of creation? Why not create, choose one from the creator of the universe? And that's sort of where I start. Now, you might have all kinds of questions about this, and I hope you do, but I hope I've piqued your interest to listen to these broadcasts as they go along. I'm hoping to start releasing more videos about this and answer some questions. I'd love to see your questions below, and I'll leave a link there for you to find out more information about the book, which is coming out this fall of 2021. Thank you very much for listening and God bless you.